A man accused of killing his in-laws in Warren County has been arrested in Florida. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office has confirmed that Brian Cook was captured this morning at a hotel on the west side of town. His bond has been set at $2 million and he's expected in court down in Jacksonville this afternoon. Cook is accused of killing his in-laws, Gary and Gail Dotson, at their home in Warren County. The couple was found dead after they didn't show up to work at the restaurant they own in McMinnville. No word yet on a possible motive in the case. Three men are still on the run after robbing several people inside a Midtown gas station overnight. Around 945 last night, the men came into the twice dailies you see there on Charlotte Avenue armed with guns. Police say the men robbed several of the customers inside the store before one of the men even opened fire. The bullet hit a light that shattered glass, injuring the clerk. The men asked to get into the safe, but when the clerk said she didn't know how to open it, the robbers ran off. If you know anything about where these men may be, you're urged to call Crime Stoppers at 615-74-CRIME. A search is underway for a missing 16-year-old girl believed to be wanted or believed to be, excuse me, with a wanted man. Emily Rhodes was last seen yesterday morning in Warren County, Kentucky. She was wearing a white t-shirt and red pajama pants with a Dr. Pepper logo on them. Police say she may be in danger because they believe she is with this man, David Harvey. We're told the 20 year old male has a criminal history and could be suicidal. They may be traveling in a black 2000 Pontiac Grand Prix with Kentucky tags 231 DVV. Nashville's 4th of July celebration, Let Freedom Sing, will feature the largest fireworks display in the country this year. There will be plenty of security downtown, but Metro Police say you'll play the biggest role in having a fun and safe July 4th. We urge people coming downtown over the weekend to treat your belongings, coolers, satchels, whatever, as if you were in an airport. Don't leave them unattended. If you're walking down Broadway on Saturday afternoon and you see a cooler at the corner of Second and Broad with no one around, let a police officer know. We've got a full list of all the Independence Day celebrations going on across the midstate on our website, newschannel5.com. Well, President Obama is heading to the Music City tomorrow. The president is expected to discuss the Affordable Care Act at Taylor Stratton Elementary School in Madison. It's the commander in chief's third visit to the midstate in the last two years. You can count on complete coverage here on News Channel 5 and we'll be streaming his address live on our website, newschannel5.com. Meanwhile, the president is also proposing new rules which would dramatically expand the number of people eligible for overtime pay. Craig Boswell has more details from the White House. The White House is unveiling a new rule that would allow millions of Americans to qualify for overtime pay. Under new Labor Department regulations, any salaried worker who earns up to $50,400 per year will earn time and a half. That's about 5 million workers. We also believe that there are workers who will benefit from the fact that rather than working 60 hours a week, they will work 40 hours a week and at the same salary because they've effectively been working for free. The current overtime rules stipulate any full-time employee earning more than $23,660 can be called a manager and is exempt from overtime pay. But the president's proposal is already receiving criticism from Republicans and pro-business groups who claim the plan will cost people jobs. Workers in retail stores and restaurants are among those most likely to be affected. The National Retail Federation issued a statement saying overtime expansion would upset that well-established system, add to employers' costs, undermine customer service, hinder productivity, generate more litigation opportunities for trial lawyers, and ultimately harm job creation. House Republicans plan to hold a hearing Wednesday to talk about how the new rules will kill job creation. Craig Boswell, CBS News, the White House.